We're going to be looking at how to log a call uh, in Salesforce, and we're going to actually start in the admin panel. Um, so how we got here is we hit setup, uh, and we hit this, or we hit this gear, and then we hit the setup option. That's going to take us to like our admin area in Salesforce. Uh, and what I want to do is first like locate um, the log a call action. So you've probably seen log a call on various objects in Salesforce. And what we're going to do is we're going to first go to the account object and we're going to go down to this tab here that says button links and actions now when i click on this um, you can see that these are you know a lot of the out of the box options that we have available and if i click new action i can actually use this pick list to say okay i want to create a logger call action type and from here i'm going to use a standard uh, field label um, or if i want to i can just say um, you know, logger call, that's that's the way it would pop up. Or I can leave this as none, right? That means I don't want to use the standard field label. And I want to call this log my call. So now uh, the action is going to show up in the same area and it's going to say log my call instead of log a call. And that's how you know um, we're going to be looking at uh, the one we just created. I, I'm not going to set up a success message here. I'm just going to hit save. And it's going to take me to this area where I can actually um, create like my own uh, action page. So I'm going to add a couple things here um, just so you can tell the difference between one and the other. So if you've got custom fields on tasks or, um, you know, anything like that that you want to add in that's important, you can obviously do that. And once I hit save, I do want to show one more thing. If you wanted to set predefined values, uh, you could have this little area down here where you can hit new. You choose the field um, that you want to set as a predefined value. Uh, and you can use formulas. So I could say like today plus seven. It doesn't really make sense when I'm uh, logging a call that I want to set the due date for um, seven days from today because logger call is a completed activity already. Uh, but just an example of how you can use a formula to predefine a field value. I'm going to go into layouts here. I'm going to go into our account layout. I'm going to go to mobile and lightning actions. And I'm going to find the log my call action i'm just going to put it in this section here so there's mobile and lightning experience action so i'm just going to drag that on there and hit save i'm going to go into our sales app now so i'm going to pretend i'm a user here I'm going to pop open any account doesn't really matter and you can see here on the right side in the activity area, I can see log a call, which is the one, you know, the standard action that comes out of the box. And I can see mine at the end here that says log my, and then it's a little cut off because I have too many. And you can see this actually looks different than uh, this log a call, right? This one just has subject comments name related to, where mine has subject status due date related to comments. So in that little area that popped up where we were able to kind of set the page layout for this action. Um, you know, this is an example of how that would work. And then if you, again, want to do, maybe you want to predefine some values in here, you can do that via formulas. Um, so that's a quick overview of, you know, how you log a call in Salesforce. And then if you want to create your own custom log a call action, how you would do that. Now, uh, let's say you don't want to use accounts and you want to use another object like contacts. You can see here that it's the same thing. We've got the logger call action. You would take those same steps in the setup menu up here to the right, uh, except you would be doing it on the contact object rather than the account object.